Hey Janice, it is Monday, October 11th, 2011, the day after I have moved into my new place. Currently standing in front of my front door on the inside. It's kind of crappy in the lighting because, uh, well, there's no actual light in the front room. You have to have a lamp and we don't have a lamp, so. Here, we're walking into the kitchen. Behind you see a very tiny storage closet that literally only has one shelf above my head because it's also where the water heater is. Uh, there's a window. We have all the appliances. This place is a mess. Um, you can kind of see it and kind of not. There's everything. Um, of the kitchen, it's tiny. Now we're wandering into the dining room, which I have a light on in, hence why it's so crazy. This is where we have most of our stuff right now, but, uh, there, you can't really see, I'll open the thing, um, there, out there is our porch, we have our own little, like, area that we can hang out in, and it's really cool, um, let's see, as we continue walking, now we're in the living room, I'll show you Woody, he not feeling the hottest. Uh, the day after staying at the doggy hotel, oh goodness, the day after staying at the doggy hotel isn't always the best day. Uh, he's very tired. Dogs don't usually drink as much water when they're staying at a boarding facility just because they're kind of nervous and stressed. So he's got a little bit of a cough, but not kennel cough because it's only every once in a while. And it's getting better as the day goes on in that he's not coughing because he's been drinking water. He's also not feeling too well in the tummy, but that's probably due to not really eating now that much and whatnot. He was not frightened of the apartment at all. He loved it. Um, he, I think he likes the nice new carpet. I think he likes the fact that the whole place smells like, like us or new. This is going to be the computer room and the spare room, kind of like a guest room only. I don't think we're going to put an actual bed in here. We have an air mattress and tons of blankets. Uh, but this room really isn't quite big enough to put a nice bed in, um, especially if you want to use it as a computer room as well. Um, it would be really crammed. Here's where a lot of our other stuff, like all of our bedding, computer stuff, random nonsense. As I spin around really fast, you'll see Woody's got a corner in here right now. He's now walking with us. He wants to help out with the tour. Um, as we continue down the hall, Janice, we have our guest bath. It is very echoey in here. Um, ah, <laughs> I'm not good on my feet right now. It's not really that big. Um, it, it, you walk in, there's a shower and a shower rod. There's a mirror. Look, you can see the computer. Trippy. Alright, so that's the one bathroom. Um, and then we go into our room. Our room is also a mess. Uh, as we walk in, we have our bathroom off the door. Uh, it's a little bit bigger. Both bathrooms have this cool little thing. That's another door. That's a linen closet. And Nick was so nice last night just to actually put all the towels in it. Isn't that wonderful? So yeah, not really too much to see in the bathroom department. Um, our bedroom. There's a bed in it, and it's really messy. And then, the other room has a closet. It's not really a walk-in, but it's nice and deep. This one's a walk-in closet. I hit the light before I go into it. Um, it's currently a freaking mess and a half, of course, as with anything after a move. He's got his nice work shirts hung up. And then there's literally just garment bags and open bags and just everything because I have a lot of clothes and so does he and we don't have like really large carrying things so that is our room Woody's bed his little snow white bed that used to be my sleeping bag when I was little is right there next to my side of the bed um, we have a window overhead of our bed it goes toward the front door so like in the morning you can hear like the kids going off to school and stuff but, uh, ooh, trippy. But that's not that big of a deal. Um, nobody's really allowed. We live really close to a high school, apparently. Um, because yesterday when we were unloading, I'm now in the living room. Yesterday when we were unloading, um, we could overhear a marching band practicing. 
It was really cool. It actually made me a little misty. Not like crying, just a little misty. Because I love marching band and I miss being able to hear marching bands. And it's so cool that I can like go outside and listen to a marching band in the afternoon. That's cool. Um, we also have a really nice family who lives next to us who I don't know if the mom plays and the daughter is learning how to play or if it's just the daughter and there's a tutor over or what, but there was somebody playing the violin good and then somebody learning to play, play the violin. It was also pretty decent and that was exciting because I live next door to musicians, which means that if I ever decide to really hunker down and work on my oboe, nobody will be offended when I play and that's exciting. Um, Moving was really good. If you talk to mom or dad at all, I told them last night moving went well. Uh, I got my driver's license in the mail, which was exciting. Um, that was a good thing because I was really worried about that. Um, we were all moved out. Like, all of our crap was out of the apartment by like 5 or 5.30, maybe a little later. And then I was like, gathering all the trash and Nick took all the trash out. We had a system where Nick took everything out of the apartment, either put it in the car or put it in the trash can, the big trash bin, and I cleaned and organized because I'm good at that and he's good at stairs, and so it was faster that way. Um, the movers came right before two, and by, the, by three, they had our stuff out of our old apartment and in our new apartment, and I mean, we're talking like NFL linebacker builds. Like, these guys were lifting our queen-size bed on their own. That was pretty cool. Um, they were super nice. They were super careful about everything. It was awesome. Um, we have our cable hooked up, obviously, because I was able to post this. Um, those guys came before 5. They were supposed to come between 5 and 7. They were in the neighborhood, so they just showed up, and then at 5 they were going to call us and see if we were there, and then they saw us unloading, and they are like, I think that's the people, and then they asked us, and we were like, yes, we are the people, and so they hooked it up, and that was all cool. Um... But yeah, moving went well. I'm really excited. I didn't sleep the best last night because this is the first night I've slept in my bed and it not be against the wall and I nearly rolled out of bed. Um, and I'm in a new place and there's a lot going on. So like, I slept well, but I didn't sleep as good as I could have. However, after Nick went to work, I apparently just went back to bed. I didn't mean to, but I woke up at noon and was like, hmm. So apparently I needed a nap after a full night's sleep. It's really cool. It takes him eight minutes to walk to work. That's exciting. Um, exciting in that, like, he came home around 12.30, 1 o'clock to say hi and hang out. And it spooked the crap out of the dog because he's not used to dad coming home in the midday. And then daddy went back to work. Um, it was pretty nice. Um, yeah. So that's, that's all. I'm kind of bummed I didn't have any videos from you, like, at all this weekend. Like, did my video on Friday scare you? Did you not get the memo that I had made a video even though I told you? Like, I don't know. Um, I was just surprised that, like, all weekend I was hoping to hear from you, and I didn't. And I'm kind of bummed. And, um, I heard you had a good day yesterday and that you didn't have classes because of Columbus Day, which has to be one of the more absurd holidays, but considering you got the day off, it's a good day. And the fact that you didn't work, so you literally just got a day to kind of recuperate and rest. And that's always good. Um, but yeah. I will give you a better tour of the apartment probably sometime next week. Uh, because right now it's not really that furnished because we don't really have anything. And it's totally not unpacked. And I think by next week it should be at least unpacked enough that it looks more presentable and I'll probably take pictures and um, post them on Facebook or on Tumblr or I'll email them to you guys. Um, but I wanted to give you kind of a quick overhead view from like my head level and kind of swivel in the camera. So I will let you go. And I hope to hear from you soon. I hope everything's going well. I love you and I miss you. Bye.